What I've been up to, Dan Reader, newsletter number two. About 20 years ago, I wrote a computer program. It was a hearing test, and it worked like this. The person being tested would hear a sound that started at 20 hertz. The frequency would go up and up and up. They would push the space bar when they couldn't hear the sound anymore. Then the sound would start at 20,000 hertz and go down and down and down. The person being tested would press the space bar when they could hear the sound. This repeated a couple of times, and the results got averaged and put up on the screen. I demonstrated it at the summer festival of my kids' elementary school. I learned three things from doing this. One, I don't really like programming computers, and I'm not very good at it. Two, some young women hear extremely well. Some of the ones I tested heard everything. My computer won't make a sound they can't hear. And three, men over 50 don't hear worth a shit. I discovered that a couple of family friends were basically deaf. I didn't say anything, I'm not a doctor, and it wasn't a real hearing test so I thought I should just keep quiet. But both of those guys had hearing aids within a couple of years. Why do I mention this? Because a couple of years ago, I read that a famous musician, whose name rhymes with Beal Byung, had been complaining about how lousy MP3s sound. This surprised me because he was about 70 years old at the time, and I knew from my hearing test experience that old guys don't hear very well. Hmm, I thought to myself, how come he can hear so much better than all the other old men? I decided to test myself. I have good speakers and a good amplifier. I did A-B tests with MP3s and CD quality waves. Couldn't hear a difference. None. Not one bit. Nada. I figured I was just another old man who doesn't hear very well. Then for the hell of it, I started looking into MP3 and how it's done. Turned out, it's done using something called psychoacoustics. Masking, for example. If there's a loud sound, you don't hear the quieter sound under it. If you're talking to somebody, and a loud truck drives by, you can't hear them talking. So for MP3, you leave the quiet stuff out, and it saves space. Or another example, if there's a loud sound, you don't hear what comes right after it. So you can leave it out, save space. Here's where it gets weird, though. If there's a loud sound, you don't hear what comes before it either, which sort of means you know it's coming, which is fucked up. My explanation is that we humans have big, complicated brains. We think all the time, maybe thinking takes time. Maybe there's a little bit of lag time between the time something happens and the time we perceive it, sort of brain latency. That would mean that the present is something we're remembering, which is also fucked up. And speaking of fucked up, my audio interface has one MIDI input. I checked, almost all of them do, even some of the expensive ones. One. Thing is, I have three MIDI gizmos that I use, two keyboards and a drum pad. I'd like to be able to just switch between the gizmos. I'm thinking click, keyboard, click, drum pad, click, back to keyboard. So I go to my favorite online music store and start looking. Don't find what I'm looking for, so I call. Tell the guy I have three MIDI gizmos, only one input, need a switch. Haven't got that, he says, but we have this. Shows me a bunch of complicated, expensive devices. No man, I just want to switch. It's not his fault. I'm probably the only guy in the world with three MIDI gizmos and only one input. So I start looking into what I'd need to make a MIDI switch. These MIDI connectors have five poles, so I'm thinking I'll need a three-position, five-pole switch. I look on my favorite online electronics store. That switch doesn't exist. You can get three-pole, three-position, but not five-pole, three-position. I guess I could use two of those, turn two switches instead of one. Then I look up MIDI. Turns out they only use three of the five connectors anyway. Okay, that's fucked up, but what do I care? So I order four of the connectors and a switch. Don't want to screw up the wiring, so what does it look like? One, four, two, five, three. Unbelievable. Who comes up with this shit? Stuff comes, I look at it, I don't want to solder anything, fuck it. I go back to my favorite online music store. Couple of days later, this comes. Problem solved. But back to our old musician, Beal Byung, it turns out that most people can't hear a difference between MP3 and WAV files. The people who can hear a difference are likely to have damaged hearing. I guess if you can't hear the loud sound, the whole psychoacoustic thing breaks down. I'm not going to be the guy who tells him. I'm pretty sure to figure out a costume. <laughs>